Hey guys, what's up? This is JRP77 and I'm going to be doing a starting a tutorial series on how to make a 2D RPG in Unity. So to start off, I'm going to introduce myself. Um, I'm JRP77. I'm the lead coder of JG and Games. Um, you can check us out up here and you can on our yeah, check us up up here or you can go to our Google Plus page and that's right there. So let's jump right in. So first of all, I said we're going to be making a 2D game. So that's what we're going to do. So first of all, I'm going to go to game object, 3D object quad. Okay, then I'm going to move him to the center, 0, 0, 0. And now I'm going to start duplicating this quad several times and hit command D and move him over correction I have to and I'm, first things first I'm a realist um, I'm <laughs> I'm going to take this quad and I'm going to rename him put um, environment piece then I'm going to drag and drop this in my project to make a prefab now I'm going to duplicate him a bunch of times by going I'm going to D, moving them over, and I'm going to, so that it's seamless in between, I'm going to hit V and drag from this corner to that corner. Command D. Um, I think I'm doing. Um. Okay, now I'm going to select all of these, and I'm going to duplicate them um, once. Do that, and duplicate again, and then I'll select this one, move them over there. Now I'm going to select all of these, I'm going to duplicate them, move them down, and, and hit V and move them in, and hit Command D. Move them down, align them. Now I'm going to create an empty game object. I'm going to call this room room one. Just look all my environment pieces that I made. Drag them under room one. I'm going to drag room one into here. So now if you rotate, you can see we have a a thingy. Yeah, a thingy. So now let's make the let's light up the scene. So let's get a game object, light, directional light. And because this is really bright, I'm going to change this to 0.25. That's a reasonable light level. Now I'm going to click on the camera and I'm going to change this to black. So it looks like you're actually inside of a room. Then I'm going to simply maneuver the room into the center of the screen. I think zero zero zero. And now I'm just gonna move on the Y. I'm gonna keep it right there. And then I'm gonna get a main camera. I'm gonna change this to a negative five negative three. Negative four. All right, now let's make the player. So let's go to game object, create another quad. And it, it's behind. I'm gonna go to the front or the back view because I'm moving the Z. The side view. That line, I'm going to put that right there. Now I'm going to go add component, physics, rigid body, turn off use gravity. Then I'm going to make, I'm going to rename him player.
I'm going to rename the lamp to room light. Yeah, I'm going to keep that in there. So now I'm going to go to my player and I'm going to recolor him by going to create material. Or you can do that right there. I'm going to call this player. And I'm going to change this main color to a red for now. So we go to my player, drag this onto him. Now I'm going to center. Now I need to find out where the do where I'm going to have it. Um, so since I want him to start at the door, I'm going to start with him right down here. Kind of at the middle. I'm going to go to orthographic view. I'm going to go down, then zoom in and make him the center. Move that to the center. I'm going to click on the main camera. Go to game object. Oh, I'm with you. Align with you. Alright, that's gonna be good for now. And now let's make the player script by going to create C sharp. And I'm gonna create call this player stats. Alright, so to start off, we're gonna delete all the stuff that the, the script comes with. Um just to be noted. I cannot make the text bigger because Monitor Develop doesn't work with my screen recorder and I haven't found a better one so I have to use this and so I cannot make um, the text bigger sorry but I can't do anything about it change this to C++ so you guys can see it make a public rigid body I'm gonna call this player I'm gonna say public um, float, move, um, move speed is equal to 0f. Then I'm going to go down, I'm going to say void update, and since this is not all we're going to have in the script, I'm simply going to say move. Open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. So that calls the function move. Then I'm going to create another function called move, by saying void move open up the print, um, curly brackets and then I'm going to say in here float h is equal to input dot get axis um, horizontal whoops my thing does that sometimes I'm going to say float v is equal to input dot get axis vertical. Then I'm going to go down to a few lines and say vector 3 movement is equal to a new vector 3 h comma space v comma 0 f semicolon. Then I'm going to go down a few lines and say player dot add force um movement times whoa times move speed okay so now if we save this come back into unity you'll notice that we don't have any errors and I do not know what that is um we're going to attach this script to the player And then for this, we're going to set this move speed. I found two to be pretty good. And then for we're just going to assign player to player. All right. Now, one of the big things is, as you can see here, if we hit up, the camera doesn't move. So we're going to hit, I'm going to take the main camera and drag it on top of player. Then I'm going to get a player apply. Okay, so now if we hit play, you'll see the camera follows us 
and it's very smooth. And almost now that I look at it, it's too big. So I'm going to get a player. And since, oh, wait, oh, wow. I forgot. Since this is a room, um, we actually are not going to do this yet because it's a room. And if you've seen any of the Legends of Zelda games, um, they do not do that because it would be too small. So, yeah, that's a reasonable size. And now I'm just going to unparent that. And I'm fine with that losing the free throw connection because I'm going to apply that. Okay. So now you'll see that if we hit WASD, you'll see we can kind of fly off the map. And honestly, now that I've seen the acceleration, I'm bumping that down to one. So now you'll know we can run off the edges and it doesn't look very good. So that is what we will fix in the next one. So tune in next time.